everyone, it's Justine, and today we're going to learn how to do a watercolor window, and I made this card here for the AAA Card Challenge Watercolor Challenge. Watercolor is definitely not my strong point, so I can maybe offer some tips and tricks on how to fake it with your way through watercoloring. So I'm going to be starting off with a piece of watercolor paper. I'm using Tim Holtz Distress watercolor paper and a Ranger craft pad, and I am actually just going to replace these here so you can see better. I'm going to spray these with some water and I'm just using my mini mister to spray them just so that they get a bit saturated. Then I'm going to go in and just add some water to my actual card base. Now I want it to be fairly moist but I don't want it to be that my card stock is warping like crazy but I want enough water to make it move. So I'm going to go in with the various colors and I did various layers of this water coloring as well so that I could get some different tones and different colors and different shapes. So you can see that I go in with the pink and then I mix it a little bit with the yellow, then I went in with the yellow, and then I'm going to mix it a little bit with the blue so that I make a green, just so it makes an overall really nice effect. And at the moment, it's the very first layer. It is very rough and it's going to dry a lot lighter than it looks right now. So I went in and added some more yellow. I felt like my yellow was really muddy looking there. It wasn't a very vibrant or pretty yellow. And then I just went in over top again with some of the colors before zapping it with my heat gun. Now between layers, it's super important to dry because if you don't, then it's just not going to work out very well for you. And so I'm just drying all my areas and I'm also going to be taking a piece of cloth and just mopping up any areas that have too much water on them or little puddles. And you can see how much drier it or how much lighter it already looks now that it's drying up. Now I'm going to go in, in and do the same thing. This time I'm not going to add any water beforehand. I'm just going to add some more ink and go in and just add some colors to the areas that I want more vibrant. Now the area that you're using, it's not really necessary to use a full card panel. Um, it just depends on how big your die is that you want to die a cut as the window. So I did cut this down quite a bit when I was finished. Now I'm just going to dry it again and you can see I'm getting those really cool watercolor effects where it's drying and it's making those lines and I really like that look personally. I know some people really try not to get those, those lines but I think they're really pretty. And again since they're going to be a window, it's, I'm not going to see every little detail of the watercolor. Now that I'm finished with the watercolor, what I'm going to do is just mop up my area here, get everything ready, take off the tape, and I'm going to go ahead and die cut a card front. So I got here a piece of four by five and a quarter inch cardstock. It's white. And I'm going to go ahead and die cut this hugs die from my favorite things. And I'm going to create my window. So the watercolor is going to go in behind this panel. So once I run it through my die cutting machine, it's really quite easy. I like this die mainly because it doesn't have anything like an O or an R or a B, something where I have to, you know, paper piece those little insides in. It's just a very straightforward um, cut and that, that is what I really like about it. So I'm just going to take out all the letters and as you can see it's already ready to go and the watercolor piece is going behind. But before we get all that done, I'm going to be stamping from the My Favorite Things Kind Things stamp set kind things. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to stamp in Versamark Black Onyx ink, my favorite ink, and I'm going to hold it down using this new magnet I got that I absolutely love for my Misty. And it says you are quite simply the most amazing person I know. And I'm going to take that there and we're going to start putting the card together. So I'm just going to grab my paper trimmer here and just trim down this area. I really didn't need to trim it down as much as I did. I could have just trimmed it a quarter of an inch or left it as is, but I decided that it might be best. Although you could leave it so that it's all one size because the thing is with that is um, afterwards my corners of my card didn't necessarily glue down right onto the cardstock because it was a little bit thicker, the watercolor paper. And then I grabbed this really light shade of blue and this paper is from Simon's Stamp and I'm going to just add some glue onto the back of my panel here and attach it to my card. So this could be used also you could have made a shaker out of this and just added some beads under the hugs but I like the way that it looks just with the watercolor. It's very clean and simple and really really pretty. And the last thing I just wanted to do was to add some accents onto the card itself. So I thought I was all done, but I decided I needed some Nouveau Drops and some sequins in my life. So I'm using a pick-me-up tool and I'm adding these fairy pink and aquamarine sequins that I have in my stash. And then I decided to grab some of the new Nouveau Dru Jewel Drops. So these ones are different than the Nouveau Drops that they are not opaque. They are have a tint to them, but they are relatively clear and they look really nice as well and it fits in with that watercolor very light palette that I had in the watercolor background. 
So I hope you enjoyed this card tutorial and if you're interested you can subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on anything. Um, all the supplies used are listed below in the video description and on my blog. You can access both of those here and then you can access another couple of videos that I use watercoloring techniques in. Thank you so much for watching everyone and have yourself a great day.